Now I'm ready once I have my pile of squares on one side and my pile of triangles on the other side I'm now going to begin applying those gussets to the joints. What I recommend that you do first is apply your triangles to the outside edges. Now we've already completed step one of the four step gluing processes. You've already glued the ends dipped to both ends of the wood in the glue. For step number two, I'll start with this joint right here. Step number two of the four step gluing process, add a little bit of glue to your brush and then paint over the top of the joint. Paint the glue right over the top just to cover the joint itself. You don't want to add extra glue all around the outsides here because that will then add too much weight to your bridge. Step three would be to add a little more glue to your brush and paint glue inside or around the joints. This step, a lot of students I, I, I notice kind of skip this step and they don't take the time to put the glue around the joint. Well, it hasn't completely sealed that joint unless you have glue around it. So you have glue on the ends, over the top, and all the way around. That's going to make for a very strong joint. Now I take the triangle, and I'm just going to place the triangle right on top of the glue that was set on top, and just gently press it in place. One thing you want to avoid doing, you do not want to apply the glue to the gusset itself. It makes a very big mess, and by the time you set the gusset on the piece of wood, it comes off with your fingers. So you want to apply the glue just to the gusset itself. Now one thing I want to kind of zoom in here and have you notice is that the gusset that I just applied to the bridge or to the design has already started to curl up. It's bowing up a little bit. The moisture from the glue does that to the gusset, to the paper. So all you want to do is before you put your project away at the end of the period and before the glue dries Take your finger and just gently press the gusset down. The gusset is most effective when it's completely sealed up over the top of the wood. If it's curled up a little bit, then only a, the center part is attached, and that's what we don't want. We want the entire gusset to do its job. So now, as I continue on here, I will show you how you can do multiple joints at a time. So putting on one gusset at a time is very time consuming. And we wanted to kind of speed up the process a little bit. So what you can do here, in this case, on this side view, is I can go ahead and apply glue over the top of all three joints at the same time. The glue will not dry that fast in order uh, for us to put our gusset on and make it be effective. So we have the glue over the top of those three joints. Then I can apply my glue around those three joints. And at this point, the air is starting to team up with the glue, and it's going to start to seal up and harden a little bit, which is fine. That's what we want it to do. But as you notice, I'm making sure that I'm adding my detail with my four-step gluing process inside. And the other thing I want you to notice is the amount of glue that I've been using, just enough to cover the end of the brush. If your entire brush is covered in glue, all the way up to the silver portion, then obviously that should be telling you that you're using way too much glue on this project. Remember, our original goal was to build, design and build a lightweight bridge capable of holding a heavy load. So now with all three of those joints covered in glue, I can then add three gussets at the same time. So use this technique as you're applying your gussets, and again, Go back, once you've placed those on there, go back and make sure that you gently press them in place so they're sealed up over the entire edge. So I've done those three and on this side view here, I can continue on and I can actually do all of these joints at the same time as well. So once again, use the four step gluing process when applying your gussets, especially step three, painting glue around the joints. Add multiple gussets on at the same time and go back and gently press them in place to make sure they're holding like they're supposed to.